We were basically taking a latex balloon, filling it with helium, and then we're going to launch it to 90,000 feet where it will pop and float back down with the parachute. Um, there is going to be yeast on the balloon where one bag of yeast will be activated and one won't and we're going to see the effects of near space on the yeast. So one person, you're going to need to hold it. We need to make sure we take both balloons in case something happens to the first one. So you're going to zip tie it and hold it and we're going to fill it and what diameter are we filling it to? Uh, it was six to eight. Six to eight? Tomorrow we're launching. <laughs> So we're making sure that everybody knows what All they're right, doing so tomorrow. Now we have everything, set up, so everything on, set up, so we know what we're doing as soon as we get there, so we can get this thing up in the air as soon as possible. What we're doing out of here is pretty much just basically doing a pre, uh, trial, in other words, to see what we're going to do tomorrow exactly, who's going to do what, who's going to manage what, and basically get everything ready for tomorrow so there's no mistakes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it says six to eight feet diameter. But it's hard to see. It. This is going to be like a moment of truth. That guy looks good. Hey, Mr. Chase, how do you look on uh, his side? Yeah. It's special that way. It's fine. Wink space. It's going to be a fun time. We have to move. Is that the end of it? Yes. What? Is the GPS on? That would be very good. The GPS already on. Wait, wait, help me down. We got this. We got this. Guys, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, was released, it was rising at a rate of a thousand feet per minute. It passes through the top layer of the clouds as it heads towards the atmosphere. pops at approximately 55,000 feet. Shortly after it pops, a parachute slows the descent of the balloon as it comes back to Earth. into my GPS when I get it from my truck. Basically, we think our balloon is still going, so we had to stop our recovery mission in order to regroup with Cronky. We know that. If the field looks like that, we're going to get shit. Ooh, it's looking good. All right. 
Hey, once we get up to this see? turn, this is where it is right here. Yep. The balloon, it actually landed, luckily, in a field. Just, it was a field that happened to be surrounded by trees. But we have no control of where the balloon will go or where it will land. That's all up to the wind and how much helium we put in. So, it happened to land in a field surrounded by trees next to a pond and a cow patty. Is it legitimately on a cow patty? <laughs> <laughs> it was great. How's it look? It's intact. Okay. Luckily it landed somewhere where we can retrieve it without it being too much of an obstacle to get. 